A day in the life of a Texas high school football coach as we play our round three playoff game tonight. It's finally Friday and we got our round three matchup against the Richland Royals. We're going to bring the players in for breakfast this morning about 9 a.m. So I get up about 7.30. All the donut shops in town were closed so I took my kids to 7-Eleven so they can get a donut. After that we made our way on down to school and bring the kids into the office with me this morning. We get to the building the first thing we do is go and get some of the camera stuff ready to be loaded up onto the equipment truck. We have a few coaches that go ahead of the buses and bring all the equipment. Whenever the buses arrive we help get everything unloaded. While I'm getting some of the work done, the kids are out playing in the hallway. 9 a.m. rolls around and we have the team breakfast. We have a really supportive community and they fixed us up an awesome breakfast this morning. I get loaded down on some breakfast. I probably should have waited to eat because I'm going to try to get a workout in while we got some downtime. I wash down my breakfast with a cup of bucked up pre-workout. On my way down to the weight room, I look over the schedule for this afternoon. I get down to the weight room. It's Friday, so you know it's going to be a pull day workout for me. I did some different pull-up variations along with some inverted rows. As always, you know I got to finish off my game day workout with a game day gun show. I got some hang snatches in as well. I was in here working out. The kids were down here getting a lift in as well. They know that champions are made in the weight room. Once I got done working out, I headed up to the coach's locker room. We got a sauna set up in here, so I get inside. I got the temp up to about 115. I sat in here for about 20 minutes. After that, I showered up and went ahead and changed into my game day clothes. I'm busting out the white shoes tonight for the game. They seemed to bring us some good luck for our game last week. We end up getting done about 11.15 or so. I run the kids on home. After that, I turn right around and come back. We're going to have the kids show up about 1245. We'll have our helmet check and special teams meeting about 1 p.m. By the time I got back to the school, it looks like we got some new signage up. We had a little bit of spare time before the players showed up, so we went over the game plan for Richland. The players are all here about 1 p.m. We do our special teams check. After that, the players load up their bags onto the equipment trailer. We got delivered some custom popcorn. Looks like we got the AKR blend on these. All the players meet back in the team room. We're going to watch the hype video here in a second. We sit down and watch the 12-minute highlight from our game last week. After that, all the players file out into the athletics wing lobby. They pick up snack bags and water to take on the bus. After that, the players make their way to the buses. We had some parents and community members come out to support the guys as they loaded up the buses. We're taking four buses on this trip to Richland. It's going to be about a 50-minute drive, maybe a little more than an hour on a school bus. We're wheels up and heading on out about 1.50. About an hour or so later, we arrive at Birdville Stadium. It's about 2.50 on the dot at this point. looks like we're on schedule. All the players unload and we get all the equipment off the trailer. I go ahead and wheel out the end zone camera so it's ready to go for later on. After that, I grab the camera bags and head on up. It looks like the film deck's on the sixth floor, so I take the elevator up. I get the cameras set up. During the game, we'll have our junior high coaches operating the cameras. Once I get all the camera stuff set up, I make my way on down to floor number five. That's where the coach's box is going to be. Coach Hines and Coach Frazier were in here setting up the headsets. After I set my stuff down, I make my way on back to the field level. By this point, we were eating pregame meal. After pregame meal, we had the defensive walkthrough out on the field. We get closer to game time, so I make my way back up to the coaching box. I watch the other team warm up to see if they're doing any different formations or have different personnel. The teams run through the inflatables and we get the game kicked off. We got off to a really good start in the first half. Hopefully we can keep it up in the second half. After we make some adjustments at halftime, I make my way back up to the box. We ended up winning the game 61 to 40. I make my way on back down to the field so I can celebrate with the guys. We get presented with the gold ball. Every playoff game that you win, you get presented with a gold ball trophy. Our superintendent hands the ball to our head coach, Coach Fleener. Coach Fleener sets the ball up and we take a group photo. We're heading on to round four against either Longview or Lancaster, two teams that are in our district. After we celebrate on the field with our families for a little bit, now it's time to pack things up so we can head on home. We're going to try to get the film uploaded on the way there. I hop in the SUV with some of our junior high coaches so we can get the film work done on the way back. We cut through downtown Dallas on our way back to Forney. We get back to Forney, it looks like the Longview-Lancaster game that was going on at our home stadium is finishing up. Lancaster ended up beating Longview on a field goal at the end of the game. Looks like we're going to have a rematch with them next Friday. We get back in the coach's office at Forney. Birdville had all these nameplates for us in the locker room. I set mine up as a keepsake. I look back and watch some of the tape from the game tonight. Finish grading the outside linebackers in the morning. We meet as a staff, then I head to the coach's locker room to change into some comfy clothes to head home in. It's about 11.30 at this point, point. we get to come to work tomorrow.